Wildcats crowding the line. Duggan back, takes a downfield shot in the second play. And it's Johnson with an over-the-shoulder catch. Brenton Johnson beat Julius Branch just like in the first meeting in Fort Worth. Oh, you got a safety in the middle of the field. Creates a one-on-one -on -one opportunity on the outside. Linebackers are coming down against the potential threat of the run. Get pressure on the quarterback. And how about this for your first throw of the game? Hurts. Really not a chance to set up this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Pretty good coverage, but look at the ball. I mean, you could not draw it up any better for Duggan on where to put the ball on a go route out over the outside shoulder to allow Johnston to walk away or jog away there from Brent in coverage. 18, 50 plus yard play. He is a difference maker. Held out last week in the right against Iowa State to be ready for today. Second and seven. Pass across the middle. Johnston again in traffic. Duggan has time. Slant. Incomplete. He was trying to find Johnston. That Westman DB's in there for K-State trying to stop this receiving core. Duggan delivers a long throw. Johnston is left alone. And he's wide open. Ball's out on the ground, and K-State's made the recovery. Stay right on cue with you saying they've got some freshmen. Brent, who comes back and strips it loose, he busts on coverage. Johnston, of all people, out in the flat all by himself. They're trying to catch up to him, and Brent ends up making another play. to get Tell him, keep coaching. He's trying to coach him home. Play fake on first down. Duggan wanted a downfield shot. Will launch for Johnston. He's wide open. Quentin Johnston collects it. Goes forward. Johnston, a couple of big plays to go along with the fumble in the first half. And off to the right is that matchup. 6-4 against 6-4. But this time, Julius Brents, really for the first time we've seen him. Third and seven. Here comes pressure. Duggan off his back foot. Lops it for Johnston in the end zone. Jump ball flag. Pass interference on Branch. He knows with the safety to the inside, he's got one-on-one -on -one to the outside. Why not go to your guy? Put it up in the air where he has a chance, and Brent's again, not, he's beaten on the play, loses, never sees the ball, so is forced to grab Johnston and bring him Pass down. Pass interference, defense number 23, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Today. Duggan under pressure immediately, launches for the end zone, intercepted! The pressure forced a terrible decision, and Julius Brents, who's at a rough quarter, makes the pick. Unless you're Josh Allen, it's going to affect your accuracy. He underthrows it, clearly would want to put it up into that back corner where the 6'4 receiver can go up, climb the ladder, and make the play. You don't have to go fast, but you got to come away with points here. Yep. Duggan launching. Johnson against Brents, shoving, and flags come out. But if you don't get the catch, there's a good chance you're going to get a P.I. And... you got to, you got to admire Kansas State. You know, they, they've got trust and confidence in Brents. I mean, they, they've been putting him out there on an island. At some point, you wonder if they will move a safety over there, try to help him out just to be sure. I mean, the, the big thing with Brents out there, he can match up athletically downfield against Brents. You show pressure and bring it. It's picked up. Locked it downfield to Johnston. Incomplete. Good coverage that time. One more time, matchup on the edge. Lost his helmet, but able to break it up. Well, there it is. We just thought we might see that. They've been going downfield. I think Brents gets his right hand in here to knock that away. Prevents Johnston's right hand to be able to get his own arm up to make the catch. If you go frame by frame, that would be pass interference. But in real time, Bill, that, that's a hard one to see. I